right, guys, we got box number 11. No, box number 12 right here. And thank you guys for joining me in this unboxing video. And after this box, we only have one more left. And then it'll be done for a little bit. Apart from the two boxes which I uh, mentioned in the previous video, if you if you have seen that. And let's see what's inside this one. Oh, it's it's <laughs> it's uh, filled. Uh, it's filled pretty. Yeah, it's filled pretty well. So uh, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of comics in here. Seeing a cable of the most recent volume, I think. And Excalibur and an X Factor. So let's dig in. Um, yeah, first off, uh, let me just make some room here. So I can actually put the comics to the side. There we go. So we have cable volume number three, issues number 156. And then they started to reboot the numbering on the comics. Or was the other way around? I don't remember. I still have to read this. 156, issue number 2, issue number 4, issue number 152, 153, and then we go into some Excaliburs, issue number 50, 51, 52, 54, 55, 56, 57, and 58. Pretty cool John Madeira covers. Not sure if he did the interiors on this actually. Not sure, I think he did, but let me just check it out. Hmm, seems like it, but it's really early John Madeira art. So this is even before he did his run on the X-Men. Yeah, it is John Maduera, but I'm not sure if the second issue is done by him as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah, pretty cool. And we have issue number 59 and issue number 60. Issue 61 and 62. 63 and 64. I always like this cover. It's pretty simple, but I still like it. 56 and 66, and that's it for the Excaliburs, I think. Then we have some Deathstrokes, issue number 12 and issue number 11. 14 and that's it. <clears throat> it's a pretty thick one. 18 and 19. 20 and annual number 2. Fifteen and seventeen. But it's a different volume, I think, judging by the DC logo. Twelve and thirteen. Fourteen and six. Issues number five and seven. Issue number four. And then we have a Contest of Champions, issue number 8. And then we go to Cable, issue number 4. 
and issue number seven and issue number nine. And then we have some Ultra Force issue number one. Batman Detective Comics, and I've seen this one before, twice probably even. And then we have some X Factor issue number 65 and 67 and 68. Was one of my favorite storylines, and I was just talking to some uh, other collector and he had been looking for this one, so I'm I'm pretty sure I can make him happy with this. So uh, Roy, as you did see it, it's for you, man. So uh, pretty cool. Bloodshot issue number nine and thirteen and fourteen and seventeen, eighteen, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, that's it for Bloodshot. Then we have a Flash Rebirth, and I'm pretty sure I've seen this one before as well. Issue number 26, pretty cool cover. Looks, looks pretty cool. Excalibur in 67 and 68, once again with a pretty cool Joe Madeira cover. 69 and 70. And then we have a issue number 71 with a pretty cool hologram of Nightcrawler on it. Pretty cool. 90s gimmicks. Issues number 40 and 41 of Excalibur, 43, and then we have an Electra issue number 5 and 6, uh, first, no, second, second volume I think, issue number 4, and then we have, an, from, judging from the backside, an 80s comic, maybe early 90s, Mighty Thor issue number 389, and Avengers 309 and the Defenders issue number 92 and this looks in pretty good shape it's pretty cool, very cool cover and we have Impulse 1 million and JLA 1 million Aquaman 1 million and Nightwing 1 million And then we have X Factor 64 with a very dynamic Wild Potassio cover. Cable issue 11. And from the volume before that, issues number 154 and 155. And that's it for box number 12. So, just to give you guys a little glimpse I got box 13 left to unbox so I'll be doing that the next time I'm recording and I got a bigger book in which is the nostalgic one and another package which is the uh, Holy Grail and I'm kind of curious if it's uh, the first print or the second print it doesn't really matter to me because uh, I'm just happy that I, uh, I, I was able to buy one but if it's the first print, it's going to be like a really good uh, purchase for uh, for the amount of money I paid for it. And they've been lying here for about a week now and I'm really itchy to, uh, to open them. But I just wanted to open the 13 boxes first and then get into this one. So I'm really looking forward to, uh, to unboxing this. But they're going to have to wait till either tomorrow or the day after. So I um, hope you guys will be joining me for that unboxing. And um, yeah, thanks, thanks for joining me with this one and see you guys for the next episode. Later!